Hey, good morning, everyone. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. Beautiful morning. Got some clouds out on the horizon this morning. The past few mornings, it's been clear blue skies. Beautiful colors, though. I'm on the boardwalk in Area 4. Four and a half hours away from high tide here. Just beautiful out here this morning. 72 degrees right now. Expecting a high today of 88. Take a walk out to the beach here. See what Mother Nature might have washed up overnight here. Still gonna be a little bouncy here. It looks like I'll be able to order that gimbal this week. The new gimbal to steady up the camera. Just a few dollars short of that, but I know that'll come in somewhere. Well, yesterday there was quite a few volunteers out here cleaning up the beach. That was great. It's amazing how far back the shells are on the beach here. Look at this, here's a big old piece of a lightning whelk. Old lightning whelk all busted up way back here on the beach. There's another piece of a, the side of a lightning whelk. Beautiful, beautiful piece of a lightning whelk there. Right next to it, a little cockle shell. Oh boy, lots of pelicans. Lots of pelicans out there this morning. Come on, focus camera. Look at them all out there. Wow. That's about the third flock of pelicans like that that I've seen this morning since I've been out here. It's incredible. Now let's see a big pod of dolphins go by. <laughs> that would be the icing on the cake to get our beach walk started. Those clouds should be lighting up here as the sun comes up over the trees behind me. A little wave action right here. <laughs> the waves breaking on the sandbar out there as the tides coming in slowly coming in
gorgeous out here this morning. I can't believe how cool it is. 72 degrees. Really, really nice out here. Really comfortable. No red tide out here, no red tide. That's the good news. Water's nice and clear, kind of hard to tell right here with these waves. Sorry about the bouncy camera work there. Nothing I can do about it. Sun's just coming up over there between the trees. I see one of the great blue herons just down the beach a little ways. Let's see if I can catch up to it before it flies away. a couple interesting little shells. There's a little nautica shell. Got a little hole and a chip in it. Still a beautiful little shell. And there's a really nice slipper shell. That is a nice slipper shell right there. catch up to that heron. Great, we got a weak connection here. Every once in a while we'll get a bad connection here at the beach. But remember, I always repost these videos on YouTube. You can always watch them on YouTube. They're a little better quality than on Facebook. Some no seams out here biting me. There's just piles of shells on the beach here. They've been here now for a week, over a week. Hurricane Michael washed them up here. 
all back in here. That's all shells back up there. We had a really super high tide. A lot of spots on the beach, the water came all the way up to the dunes. Hurricane Michael was 250 miles away from us out in the Gulf and it still wreaked havoc on our beaches here in Southwest Florida. Where's those dolphins? Oh, I just saw one way out there. See if we see him come up out there. I saw one. Where did he go? He's out there. So I saw him out there. There he is. See him? There's one dolphin. He's moving down the beach pretty fast. Where'd he go? Whoa, he's moving fast. Where'd you go? There he is. He's way out there. Moving along at a good pace, too. There we spot him again. Oh. Where'd you go? Yep, I don't know where he went. He's way, way out there, though. That was one dolphin. Okay. Maybe we'll see a couple more. Oh, there's one there. We saw one. Might have been the same one. There he is. Where'd you go? Oh, there's another one out there in front of it. There's two out there now. There's one just came up. They are really, really far away. All right, so we've seen two dolphins. Are we gonna see any more? Uh, great, great, great. We're going to have a good day today. We already spotted two dolphins. We're off to a good start. There's a little snowy egret down there. Oh. Didn't want anything to do with me. A little rough right in here for the dolphins. They're just kind of hanging offshore a little bit to the south of me here. Here's our great blue heron up here. Good morning. Our no -seams are getting me out here. I apologize for the bouncy camera work. 
Still working on getting that gimbal replaced. Getting really, really close now. Oh, I'll definitely get it next week. Or the dolphins are just playing away out there. The dolphins are out in that area out there. Two dolphins. I don't know if you can see them there. See, there's one of them. There's two dolphins playing out there. Little birds flying by. There's one of them. They're really far away. Way out there. And then right up here, closer to shore. See if I can find it. There he is. Our great blue heron friend out there in the waves. Beautiful. Where's those dolphins? They're right out there. See them out there? Just kind of hanging around out there, playing in the water. We're going to see a bunch of pelicans go by here in a minute in the background there. There's the dolphin. There goes the pelicans. Must be a lot of fish out there. So cool. There's that great blue heron right there, just offshore, walking along in the water. Darn it, the no seams are eating me up here. I'm sorry. I can't stand still. It's that great blue heron. Those birds are to be four foot tall. Even taller. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous bird. I'll come down here a little ways, see if I can get another look at the dolphins. I just cannot hold this camera steady without that gimbal when I zoom in. Just go. There's a couple of them. There's a couple of them out there. If we see one pop up here. There's one, two. Ugh. Beautiful. Well, maybe they'll come in a little closer to shore here as the tide comes in. But they are pretty far out there. 
two dolphins playing around in the water. Any little shells down here? Anything interesting? Boy, that tide is coming up fast now. an absolutely gorgeous morning out here. The dolphins are getting a little closer to shore, but they're really far away from me now. I think I see our friend Fisherman Mike down here. Again, I apologize for the bouncy, bouncy camera work here. There's one dolphin over here. Just some um, swimming around. There he is. There he is. He might be coming in a little closer to shore. Let's get. Try to get down here. But that looks like Fisherman Mike down here. The dolphins are right down in front of him. And now they're going south. Sorry about the earthquake here. These two dolphins are just meandering off the shore here, slowly making their way south. Oh man. They're just, they're just keep staying ahead of me far enough to be really hard to get a shot of them. Oh, Mary's here with Fisherman Mike. Oh. Hey guys. <clears throat> nice to see you out here. You had to drag her out? Yeah. Well, I see the, dol the dolphins came by to say good morning. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. uh, it's just hard getting around with oh, this, yeah. this um, thing. I feel Wednesday. Like kind of off balance. Uh, it comes off on Wednesday. It comes off on Wednesday? Yes. Finally. So, huh? Six Se weeks. Seems like an eternity, doesn't yeah, it? Does. it? <laughs> it does. Yeah, we went up to number five first to see if Roy's car was there, but he, he wasn't around. So. No, Roy, uh, he's not coming up here. No, number five. Doesn't he go to... <laughs> Oh. Yeah, he doesn't come out to the beach. Uh, Doctor said no beach. Uh, ha, ha. If he comes out, if he gets caught out at the beach, he loses his Medicaid and insurance. Oh, really? Yep, oh. that's what they told him. Oh. Well, if, if we hear of him even thinking about it, yep. we will tell him no yep, way. Yep, he better not be out here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you got to do some snorkeling? Yeah, that's why I try to get it before the water gets stirred up. Uh Caught a snook early, right, right by that tree. Snook. Really? Yeah. How big? Of uh, 18 inches, huh. you know. Yeah. Uh, well, at least you caught something. Though. Yeah. 
Yeah, but uh, uh, I was out here with Karen the other day, and uh, mostly what's in there is sheephead. Uh, I seen a black drum. I mean, they were coming. Once you get in the water, uh -huh. kind of stir it up. They come right at you. Really? Yeah, because they eat what what you stir up. Oh, really? There's a, I saw a lot of jack out there. Big schools of jack. Yeah. Chase, you know, just feeding out there yeah. like a feeding frenzy. That's what happened the, uh, before Labor Day. Where uh, we had a couple of days here where you could come to the beach and breathe. And I went down there and I caught that 24-inch jack. Oh wow! Uh, on the just off the point on number five. And uh, yeah, it took me. 20 minutes, half hour. I was going to say, that had to be a good fight. 20 oh, yeah. We're, I did see some big ones. I mean, I just stood there, and the, they were like huge schools of them. And finally, if I didn't move, they just all started just coming right around me. Exactly. It was incredible. Yeah. And they're they're fast. I mean, so oh, yeah. if you catch one, they take a, you know, uh, 30, 40 yards, maybe more line right away. Oh, really? Yeah. You, they, you, don't, you don't eat those. No, I mean, no. They're uh -uh. real oily or whatever. Just, just a fun fighting fish. Yep. When, so when's, you haven't seen Roy then lately, huh? I went over there last Sunday. Oh, did you? Stop yeah. by to visit? Yep. Took him his uh, shrimp and strawberries. Oh, and my gosh. Yeah. You treat him too good. Yeah. <laughs> you spoil him. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, well, it was the first time I was at the beach. I, I haven't been over to the place since I cleaned yeah. the floors. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, man, but that place is dirty. Yeah. <laughs> Single old man. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they, they got his yard kind of back in shape now. You know, it's well. Thank God because I, I was wet from the beach, so I had to go come around the backside. Oh and, Lord! You know, I know he's How did you sit. get through there? No, no, it was all cut. Oh, okay. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to go over and see him. Oh heck, no, no, it was a jungle there. Yeah, I mean the weeds well, were. Was, up. Yeah, <laughs> it was, and he thought it was beautiful. Yeah, I, <laughs> I do uh, all those dead. Potted plants he had on the lanai out. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, the dolphins real close. Are they? Is yeah, it, right. Oop. Where's he at? Right. Yep. I see the water swirling around. Another dolphin out here. Let's see if we can spot him. Slowly. Where did he go? They're really moving down the. There he is. Two of them right there. Two more dolphins. Boy, they're moving really slow. That looks like a, a young one. Let's see if they're together. I bet yep. Gonna... Might be a baby behind yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. Right there. You see him come up? Yep. That's a baby one. Where'd you go? There's a, mom there. there's a mom and a baby, and there's two more, right? One or two right behind right it. There. Yep, mama and the babies right there. Where'd you go? All right, where did they disappear to now? Whoops. There they are. The mama and the babies. Yep, they're all together. They're staying under for a while. Where did they go? There they are. There's a the little baby, two babies. Wow. They need to come in closer. Now this would you come to the beach for. Yep. Definitely makes our mornings. Uh, they're getting out of away me there. Getting away from me. Well, they'll be back before you know it. Yeah. They turn around and come back. Yeah, this is pretty flat light for snorkeling. You need a little bit of sun. Yeah, it's even hard for the camera to focus on the water. 
when it's like this. <laughs> Down the beach they go. It usually takes them about an hour to turn around and come back. Boy, there's a bunch of them out there though. I just wish they'd get closer. Might be running down the beach. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Mike's gonna go do some snorkeling out there. No red tide, folks. No red tide. We've seen probably half a dozen or more dolphins this morning. They're all making their way south. Now they're pretty far down there. We just saw, I think, four go by. A mama and two or three little babies. There he goes. There's a little snowy egret walking by us here. Looking for his breakfast. Mike up to over there. Out there snorkeling. Fisherman Mike. Kinds of interesting things under the water there. Absolutely gorgeous out here. When I first came out, it was 72 degrees. I don't know if he's seeing anything down there or not. That's our buddy Fisherman Mike there. His mask on. Gorgeous, the blues out here, beautiful colors. Waiting for him to pop up here. Anything interesting? Anything, anything down there this morning? A lot of sheephead. A lot of sheephead? Yeah. Wow. But when you get 
when you get right here, uh -huh. the water gets really, because it's further here, you can almost. Oh yeah, you can see the dark color yeah. there. You can't see it in the mass that well. What is that, like tree trunks? The, old, oh, the, tree, the yep. old tree trunks out yep. there in the water. Yep. Yeah. And the fish hide in there? Yeah, well they eat that stuff. Oh, do they? As it's decaying or? Yeah. Wow. But they're little, you know, the light is so flat, it's hard yep. to see them. about the sunlight. But I'm seeing sheephead like that. Really? Yeah. Wow. But they're uh, real uh, skittish this morning. They're going, they're really skittish. Really? Like, usually, you can just swim over the top of them. Right. Huh. But no, normally I, I see schools of snook. Right. And there's just nothing yet. But that light is so flat. Just hard to see. They're yeah. there. You just can't see oh, yeah. them. Yeah, they're, they're definitely they're, out there. There's there's some well you can see it here. This is what's kind of floating around. So right. When right. When started, that water was clear. Right. But once people start swimming too, it really gets bad. Really? They churn it up? Yeah. Yeah. That's why when I swim I, I try to come all the way into where there's uh hard bottom it's, it's here. Clear. Yeah, I think Otherwise clear. if you walk in that stuff, oh it just Creates it's a big cloud. or whatever, yeah. yeah. You know, when it's light out. Uh-huh. Like right about here, and you'll just see the, the sheep hit coming out. Really? Just right out? Oh, yeah. They just... You can see how dark it gets right here, yeah. folks. See the difference in the color of the water here? Let me see if I can... Lighter here, darker here. Yeah. This is just the... old tree debris yep. all and over in here. Once the sun comes out, you can really see down in there better. And that's where the fish hang out. And when I first started coming down, number two from that uh, ramp there, uh -huh. that way was all sand. Now yep. there's hard bottom. Yeah, it definitely changed yeah. over the past year. You know, with between Irma and then this last yeah. Michael going past yeah. this this well, beach, is... and it's nothing but sand down yep. there. Really, it's all yeah, sand the now. Is bad. Really? Yeah. It's what all about all sand? I wonder how it is in the pass. That's where I mean, I, I, I was oh, at the really? pass on and it's uh, all Thursday sand. and dragging the bottom. It's nothing but sand. Huh. Well, that stinks. I'm They're going to have to move the fishing area. Yeah, yeah. Nice. <laughs> uh, I'm warm the water. Isn't it? Yeah. It's dropped a little bit, but, yeah, but we needed to drop. the golf on Tuesday. Are you? Yeah, my friend. Paul's coming back. They came oh, back nice. last night, so uh, we're going out of Venice. Oh, okay. You know, you, how's the water up there in Venice? Don't know. We have. I have this. <laughs> last last week was my first time uh, fishing down here okay. since the red tide. Since you know. Well, I didn't know if it was. I mean, I know the red tide made its way all the way up along yeah, the coast yeah. there. The now thing, there, it's really bad on the other coast. Yeah, and the, what I'd seen like a week ago. Out of ways, you know, there was some red tide, but not uh -huh. in Venice, it was clear. Okay. And one thing, when you get up there, we go 18 miles and we're in 80 feet of water. Right, here you got to You go about 20 yeah. miles, you're going to Right. You know. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I was hoping one of those dolphins would come back while you were snorkeling yeah. out there. Well, play with you. And that's what they, they really enjoy those uh, sheephead. Really? They like the sheephead? Yep. So do the... Uh, like uh, the uh, big groupers. Really? They yeah, eat they, sheephead? They, it's like candy to them. Really? Yeah. Well, they're pretty good eating, aren't they? The sheephead? Sheep yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually going to look at, look into getting uh, uh, one of the little spear guns that you just put on your wrist. Uh-huh. You know, A Hawaiian sling, they used yeah, to call them. Yeah. yeah. And uh, pick up, you know, I... I Sheep are great to eat. Really? You know, and I'm. And there's so many of them. Well, I mean, when, that's why they're they're one of the only. You can net them. You can. Oh really? Yeah, snag them. Yeah, everything's protected now yeah. since the storm, since here, the red tide. But here I could come down, get, get a couple of nice sized ones. Yep. Boom, eat them. All right, I'm gonna start walking back up the beach. All right, Good I, seeing you guys. Yep, I tried to get. I sent Karen a, a note yesterday thinking that her and Tom would come down. But I think they've been kind of busy. Well, they're trying their to get business. Their, their business. Yep. But, yep. Good yeah. for them. Yep. Yeah, she put her life on hold for uh, Roy, so. Yep. And thank God she did. Yep. Yep. You know, if it wouldn't have been for her, 
No, Roy. Fabricating that nurse to do a blood test on him. Yep, Roy did. We could have lost him. He's a lucky old man. Uh, he's a miracle walker. He's a stubborn, lucky old man. Oh. <laughs> now, stubborn has to be the, first, the key word. Here. Yeah, stubborn. <laughs> <laughs> it is. <laughs> All right. Well, and I know the Pipers are watching, so... Uh, oh, there, the Pipers, yep. Uh, hi to all the, the uh, Germans that we know. And, yep. Uh, and our friends... Uh, oh, and this from, is one of their... Uh, oh, is they it? They left here, yeah. Those are so cool, those yeah. masks with the built-in snorkel. It's yep. like like sitting in a car. You got a windshield on your face. Yep. And, and, it, and when they say it's called Easy Breathe, it's so relaxing. Yeah. Yes, a lot of people have a hard time using a snorkel. Because well, you're biting down. And, yeah. And then when you, the first thing when you do when you come up, you want to take it out, and if there's a wave, yep. you take in salt water, and then now oh, you're choking. This, you, you don't have to worry about it. Yep, no, those are easy breathe. Yep. A good commercial, everybody. Yeah. Easy breathe. There you go. Well, and, if, and I owe the Pfeiffers this whole... I, I was never in... Never went swimming. Really? They came and brought these from Germany two years ago. Really? Yep. Now, well, that's, you know, with all the crap out in the water, that's a good thing, too. Yep, Keeps it I, out of your eyes. Yep, and I don't, uh, like the other day, the fish weren't biting, so I came down here. Went, Did some snorkeling. And, and seen the fish. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Were they laughing at you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There he is. There's yep. that guy. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, our friend Bill, Bill and Stella, they'll be down here too soon. He'll be out here collecting his shark's teeth. Oh, yeah. Well, we got we got two big jars up from uh, from Venice. Venice. Yeah, I heard it's it's pretty. Oh yeah, pretty just, good shark tooth hunting up there. You, just let the water come up, and when it turns back, you see a little something black. You just, you you pick it up and look. Some some of them might be rock, but a right. lot of them are, are sharks. Just, I wonder why there's so many up there. It's just. It's just it's, I don't know, but it's. Is it's that cool. where the shark uh, dental school is, or yeah, something exactly. up there? <laughs> but, and then you think those small ones are wore down, but that's the actual size. Somebody sent me a picture, one somebody found the other day. It was almost the size of your head. Yeah. <laughs> How you doing? Good. All right. Well, you have a good day, Rob. Yep, nice you too, you Mike. Again. Good luck there. I yep. hope. Are you done fishing for the morning? Yeah. I just come before 8 o'clock, you know, yeah. and uh, more people are on the beach. That makes sense. Yeah. Well, it's nice to see Mary out here with you, too. Oh, I had a that dragger. Was she was come kicking and screaming. That's too bad. <laughs> I think she's happy she came, though. Oh, yeah. Well, got to see the dolphins. Yeah. You know. It's hard for her to get chilled with that arm like that yet, but uh, well, she's, Wednesday's the day. The big day. Yep. That's awesome. All right. You have, you a, have good a good one. one. Yep. Take it easy, yep. Mike. Bye-bye. <laughs> Fisherman Mike. Oh, yeah. Go Vikings. Go Vikings? Okay. I'll let you have that one. <laughs> Let's take a walk up the beach here, see what's cooking. We did see several dolphins. What you seeing out there? Yeah, it's too dark to see the fish in the water down here. A nice big sheephead. Well, I wish the sun was up. It was just a nice, really big one. They're just right out here, folks. The little sheephead just swimming around out here. Well, you can see the hard bottom. Yeah. That's what they hold to. It's just too. There, there's, you know. Yep. Yep. There's a couple over there. Yep. It's just too dark. A little too dark for the camera here. Yeah. And it like I'm dragging my feet, so that stirs up, and that. Yep. Them to come. Hmm. But when the sun's up, that's what, you know. You oh yeah, up. when the sun's up, you can see them. You, come out here and they'll a lot of times they come you know the other day the school just swimming right at us really yeah. wow wow i wish the dolphins would do that kind of expecting the dolphins to turn around and come back they did that the other day well they do that every day we saw Oh, half a dozen dolphins this morning swimming this way. And they usually get down to Vanderbilt Beach a ways and then they turn around and make their way back up here. I was hoping to see them on the return trip here.
gorgeous morning. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful blue sky. Fairly calm out there. You see our friend Fisherman Mike, haven't seen him for quite a while. The red tide was keeping all the fishermen away from the beach. Well, it was keeping everybody away. Everybody, everything. He's gonna go down there and do a little more snorkeling. Apologize for the shaky camera work here, but I'm still not using, I still don't have that gimbal yet. Working on replacing my gimbal, it broke. It's gorgeous out here. Yesterday yep, morning. They're back. They're, back. <laughs> they're hard to say, but like, a school of eight of them? Huh. All... Really? There goes an osprey. Oh, he just landed up in the tree up here. Looks like he just caught a fish. Had something hanging down there. right up in the middle of the screen here. I'm not gonna be able to zoom in very well to this guy. Without that. I don't know what, he's got a stick. He's holding a stick. Cause it's stuck on his foot. There's the look at an osprey. Sorry about the shakiness. Very cool. Hear him calling out, her calling out, him, I don't know. Can't hold the camera steady. Sorry. Why is that osprey got that stick in its foot? right up over my head now. Beautiful birds. Absolutely gorgeous, the ospreys. I'm gonna head back up to where we started this morning, up in area four. We had a nice little walk this morning. Really didn't find anything in the way of seashells. But we did get to see our dolphins swimming out there this morning. Absolutely gorgeous as we look to the north up here. Hopefully by the end of this week, I'll have the new gimbal. Get back to our nice 
smooth beach walks. This is the best I can do for right now. See you later, Mary. Those sheep are bigger than anything I've ever caught on a Really? Yeah. Wow. Well, next time you come out, you'll catch him. Huh? Next time you come out, you'll catch him. Yeah. <laughs> All right, see you guys later. Have a good day, Bye. He wants to catch those big sheephead that are just off the beach here. Such a beautiful, beautiful. Sunday morning, Sunday morning in paradise, no red tide. Great morning for the beach here, beautiful. Temperature's still in the 70s. It was 72 degrees when I came out here, when I first got out here this morning. Absolutely incredible. We're expecting a high of around 88 degrees today. Right now, you can see it's clear blue sky. Some clouds out in the Gulf. Supposed to get cloudy later on today. Just the usual. Same old type of typical forecast. I didn't see any rain in the forecast for this afternoon. But clear down to the south and around to the east. Tide's slowly coming in here. Another probably three and a half hours before high tide. Just looking to the north here. Absolutely gorgeous. A little rough right here along the shore. But the water is beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. If you look closely, you can see the reflections on the bottom out there. That red tide, thank goodness, is not around anymore. When I say that, I'm talking about this beach right here, Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park. That's all I'm attesting to. I'm not speaking for the entire coastline of Southwest Florida. I'm saying there's no red tide here at Del Nor Wiggins. And the red tide is somewhere out there in the Gulf, miles and miles offshore. It's lurking about out there somewhere. but it is not here at our beach.
Beautiful. If you enjoy these morning beach walks, be sure to hit the like button and the share button. Let your friends know about it. Also, if you're new, introduce yourself to the group. This little snowy egret here just, just caught a fish. Just had himself a little fish. little snowy eager with their little yellow feet. morning. Normally my camera works a little better than this. It's a lot smoother. I apologize again for the shakiness. I don't want to turn people off here. It's not normally like this, but the gimbal the stabilizer that I used for the iPhone pooped out on me a week and a half ago, almost two weeks ago, and I've just been saving up some money to replace it. It's getting real close now. Nobody pays me to come out here and do this, so people have been sending in a little money here and there, making a little donation towards a new gimbal, and I appreciate that. Very close now. I should be able to purchase it hopefully the way things are going by the end of the week. Great morning out here, great start. We got to see some dolphins earlier in our beach walk. We got to see, well, I think at least half a dozen dolphins. Pretty far offshore though. But nonetheless, we got to look at them. Oh, here's the inside of a moon shell, it looks like. Or is it an old whelk? Oh, it's an old tulip shell. Couldn't tell the way the light was hitting it. 
We're in... Now that's a tough one. I think that's an old crown conch. That was a tough one to see. I think that's an old crown conch. Just the stem of an old crown conch. That's kind of cool. Our little cockle shells. Got lots of cockle shells on the beach, all different sizes, some the size of my hand. This is a smaller one here. And then, of course, our slipper shells. Lots of slipper shells on the beach. Very smooth and shiny on the outside. When you flip them over the inside, they got that little chamber there. That's why they call them a slipper shell. Use your imagination. Looks like a slipper. Absolutely, absolutely picture-perfect morning here in North Naples. Beautiful blue sky, some clouds way out on the horizon. Beautiful Sunday morning. morning. Again, the water is absolutely gorgeous here. No red tide. Absolutely beautiful. I think I'm gonna sign off here. Take a couple pictures, maybe shoot a little video, see what happens, hang out for a little while. But remember, I don't get paid to do this. If anybody wants to make a little contribution, it's always appreciated. That money right now is going towards the purchase of that new gimbal. So every little bit helps. You can find my PayPal account info in the description of this post a little later. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful Sunday, and wherever you might be. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.